Hello, I'm Lisa Arana, and I really appreciate you joining me for another Assemble This video. Today's card is all about using just two colors to make this beautiful birthday card. As I assemble this card, I'll share my tips on how to easily watercolor these flowers, along with some simple stamping techniques. I'm featuring the Hello Fresh Start stamp set from Unity Stamp Company. These roses are a favorite of mine and I just keep reaching for them over and over again. I have some watercolor paper in my Misty. You could use regular cardstock paper that would work just fine. And then I'm going to smush down some distress inks onto an acrylic block. You could use your favorite watercolor medium. I just like to use distress inks. I'm using tumble glass to watercolor with and a water brush pen. I'm just adding a little bit of water to my ink and then picking it up with the brush and scribbling that on to my cardstock. I'm following the, the shape of the flowers, leaving lots of white space. I don't want to cover in the entire bloom. I like the contrast of the white and the blue. Just gives a little bit more interest to these flowers, not filling in every single portion of the stamp. I just kept watercoloring until I liked the end look. I did not color in the, the leaves. I just focused on the flowers, uh, specifically with the blue. For the leaves, I'm using some hickory smoke, and then I added just a bit of shadow to those flowers as well using that gray, and that just adds a little bit more dimension to the roses um, to kind of give it a little bit more interest with only using two colors of ink for watercoloring. And then once I was done, I set that aside and let it dry completely all on its own. For the background, I grabbed the Lots of Blots stamp set and inked that up in the same tumble glass ink from um, Distress Ink, spritzed that with a little bit of water, and then stamped that onto some regular cardstock. I'm going to die cut that out with the scallops and rectangles die, and I have a white mat on some gray cardstock, and then I'm just going to pop up my Lots of Blots panel right in the center just like that with some foam adhesive. And then once my flowers were dry, I'm just going to fussy cut those out with my scissors. I'm not gonna worry about those stray dots that the stamp has. I'm just gonna stick with a, a thin border of white around my roses. I added some foam adhesive to the back of those flowers and then popped it up on my card front. For my sentiment, I'm using the Many More Birthdays stamp set and matching die cut. I die cut from some cardstock, uh, stamped my sentiment on some scrap paper in my Misty, lined up the negative of my die cut around that stamped image, and then put my die cut inside and then stamped on top of that. This way I know my sentiment's going to fit perfectly within that die cut. I did stamp the happy birthday using some broken china distress ink. Just thought it kind of pop a little bit more against that tumble glass background. I added some foam adhesive behind that sentiment and then just popped it up on my card front. To finish it off, I added a few clear dew drops uh, just randomly over the card, kind of focusing on those roses to finish everything off. And here is the finished birthday card. I just really love only the two tones of ink in the gray and the blue and how easy it was to watercolor just using those two colors. As always, I'll have all of my supplies linked in the description of this video on my Dollhouse Designs YouTube channel and blog. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or sweet comment, post below. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye.